Welcome to this video. This is in response to a video request on um, more detail into sketching on how to make a wheel video. If you'd like to learn how to make a wheel from scratch, this is where you can find it. Otherwise, let's get started. I've got a mounting plate here, and let's assume that this is the side that mounts to the hub, and this is the side where the lug nuts go. I'm going to color this, and I'll color it, say, red, and uh, that way it'll be very clear which side the lug nuts go on. So I'm going to start making a sketch and I'm going to actually do this as an easier method than what I presented in the video. So first I'm going to choose my top plane to sketch on and I'm going to sketch like I uh, have cut the wheel in half and I'm looking at the cross section. So I'm going to make one line just like that. So I'm going to say that this is the lip that the tire mounts on on this side, and this is the lip that the tire mounts on on this side, and this is the inside of the wheel. I'm going to make these equal. I'm going to make these equal. I'm going to determine the width of my wheel. I'm going to say that it's, say, seven and a half inches wide. There we go seven and a half inches wide, I'm going to say that the diameter of the wheel, I'll say from this point to here will be the diameter. Let's make a 17 inch wheel. That's an alright size. Now wherever this point lands, it, we're going to assume that this is the center point from here to here, and that will be the offset of the wheel. So since I'm dealing with a zero offset, this point will be at the very same um, horizontal as this mounting plate onto the hub. Positive and negative offsets go up and down here. And I'll further constrain this just for a sense of uniformity. So vertical here, that should move the sketch up and down it like so. So I'll choose the mounting plate surface and this and say uh, coincident. And that will put it at a zero offset as far as wheels are concerned. I'll move this up to look a little bit more like a conventional wheel and in fact I'll say that this is a let's say 100 degree angle. That's pretty close there. Perfect. And then I'll call this a quarter inch high. So the tire mounts on that thin lip there and I'm talking 17 inches in diameter so I'm actually going to make that 17 divided by 2 because our radius will be 8.5 inches. Now um, I'm going to make a center line here. Again this is a slightly different method that, than I've used in the original video, but I find it to be a lot easier. So I'll say features. First, we'll exit the sketch. Evolve boss base, and I evolve this, and I do not want it to be automatically closed. And that makes the thin feature, and this will make everything an eighth inch thick. So as long as this is not automatically closed, I say, there we go. And it makes the wheel around the mounting plate as such. And by constraining it correctly, I've gotten a correct offset, I've gotten a correct width, and a, a correct diameter, or by how I constrain it on the sketch, radius. But wheels are measured in diameter. And uh, the second time I fast forward this video, I simply changed the sketch to be a little bit more appealing for the spokes. But you can add whatever features you want. I can put a nice fillet here if I wanted to and make it a nice wide, big fillet. So I can do whatever I want to get that wheel working. Hope this video was helpful. If it was, please subscribe and check out the full video on how to make the wheel. And I'll catch you next time.